Well, here we are, ready and in position. The entire season comes down to the next 90 minutes to decide who will be crowned champions. The atmosphere absolutely electric, and no doubt we'll get a game to match. Stuart, this ought to be a terrific spectacle. Well, here we are, after months of hard work, this is what it comes down to. This is where players can write themselves into the history books and become heroes. This is what they dreamt about as kids. What a final we have in our hands today. They need to get tighter here. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Jimenez. on to the ball ring Cecilio Dominguez Pochettino and now passing it through oh body in the way crucially He's driven in the corner. Able to deal with the threat. Francisco Calvo. Well, possession seeded. Difficult to stop him. And now they've been rewarded. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. game then Jimenez Gaston Jimenez a fine use of the ball crossing possibilities and he's got the beating of his opponent that's all they can conjure for now. Fagundes. It's with Pereira. Ring. Conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Good technique displayed. Fed over towards the back post. And not the best clearance. And this situation could be dangerous. Will it happen for them? Now, will the cross work out for them? Oh, great block. Ground to make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them.
Now they fancy a short one. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Even Steven won a piece in this match. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Ring. Pochettino. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And so the long wait is over. Millions of viewers are tuning in worldwide as the anticipation builds ahead of the Conmebol Libertadores final. This is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position, as always, is Stuart Robson. We're just minutes away from kickoff time now. It's Atletico Paranaense, and they face Argentinos Juniors. Well, I can't wait for this, Derek. Two top-class teams, a magnificent atmosphere, and everything to play for. Let's hope we get the game we're expecting. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Can he put them in front? They had to react and did. Really getting stuck in defensively. Moyano. Beautifully weighted ball. So a corner here. And now the delivery. 
Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Just the clearance that was needed. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Can he finish? And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance, and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. The match has restarted, 1-0 here. Gabriel Auche. And an astute piece of defending. continue to advance and a lot of options here well read to put an end to that attack it's opening up for them pulls it back oh terrific save well you're absolutely right that's a top class save just look how he reacts Short corner routine. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. This might be ideal for the counter. Now the hopes rise as they win a corner. Over it comes. Well, threat over for now. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. He continues his run. Reniero. Moyano. Can they get in behind them? Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. That is that for the first half here.
Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And it is a highly significant occasion, the first leg of this Conmebol Libertadores semi-final. It's Aldo Civi and they take on Atletico Mineiro. Well, the visitors may be heavy favourites to get to the final, but this has the makings of a classic cup game because the hosts have a well-drilled defensive unit, are athletic when they're pressing the ball, and are threatening... Opportunity! And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final! How important can that prove to me? Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Gaston Romero. Romero. Really well played pass. Insua. Gaston Romero. Chance to do damage. But they took care of the situation defensively. Well, sloppy in possession. Federico Andrada. The high press was very much on. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. So, a level contest. 1-1. could really get at the opposition textbook defending inside the box it might be on for them well they lost control of the ball and it's going to be a goal kick here Oh, they've lost it. He might yet finish. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And over comes the corner. Well, a nearly moment, you've got to say. And 
taken away. He won the ball. Lodico. Andrada. Romero. Cerro. Well, getting the ball forward. Gaston Romero. Well read to put an end to that attack. Difficult to stop him. And the cross is very much on. Well, spot on with that challenge. Romero. Francisco Cerro. It's opening up for them. It looks promising. Very comfortable when in possession. Chance to finish. And he read it really well. Fine save. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Corner kick played in. Foiling them effectively. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we can't wait for this one to start with justifiable cause. It's Portugal and they take on Scotland. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Electing to cross into the centre. It comes to nothing in the end. Good defending. And great work to confuse the defender. 
And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Keen to take it short here. Delivering it into the box. A deft clearance. Well, it's one pass after another. Dangerous looking attack. Well, nicely cut out. Emsley. Claire Emsley. And we are still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Now they've lost it. Christy Murray. Aaron Cuthbert. Good technique displayed. Murray Little So after that a goal kick it'll be Little. An attack full of promise. Not an easy one to cut out, really. They all know their roles as they apply the pressure. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Well, possibilities in the centre. And caught with ease. No real threat from the cross. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Cleared away comprehensively. No possibilities inside the box. Now well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game.